Now, according to this diagram, if the effects of an expansionary monetary policy are fully anticipated by decision makers, what will this policy do to aggregate demand and aggregate supply? Well, initially, it would cause the aggregate demand to shift out to the right. That's certainly very true. Right? But at the same time, since this aggregate demand is shifting to the right, as we've depicted here, and it's fully anticipated, then the ultimate impact will be because since consumers uh, prices are now rising and this will ultimately lead to workers asking for higher wages the higher wages will eventually result in a short run aggregate supply curve shifting to the left to SRAS2 and of course the end result of this is that the economy is no better off than it was before. We're still at the same level of GDP, but we are now experiencing higher inflation.